Thanks for having me on. I am really excited about this line of AV switches from Netgear. I think really what makes it nice is the amount of power it brings to the average user in a very simple way. Normally, a switch of this caliber has a very complex detailed interface. You actually can even get to it using a command line. And that's great for folks that know IT. And for people that are familiar with configuring switches, all of the tools that you need are in here. So you can go in and set up routing tables, you can control QoS, you can put security on, you have monitoring. You have a lot of very powerful controls in here. But for the average person, and for you know somebody trying to configure a switch to do NDI or Dante or things like that, you know, it's very complex. What Netgear has done with the 4250 line is it's given you a different way of logging in. So if I jump over here to my login screen, you'll notice I come in here and log into the main UI, which is what we were just in, or I have the option to log into the AV UI. So let's log into that. And what you'll see is a very different view here and a much simplified view with lots of information. So right away, I can see my switch. So this is a 10 port copper switch with two SFPs. So I've got a total of 12 ports. And right away it's telling me that port one and two and 10 all have something connected. One and two are telling me that it's connected and powered. So I've got this little green indicator here and the blue just indicates that it's just connected. So lots of information going on here. If there were errors, if there were PoE disabled, all kinds of information just right up front that I can look at. The thing that makes it super powerful though is if I go over here to network profiles. So right now what I wanna do is I wanna set up a configuration where I've got NDI4, maybe some Dante devices. Yeah, I really wanna control what's on my switch. So what I'm gonna do is if you look down here, they've already got several different profiles for you. And you've got not only a NDI4 profile, but you've also got an NDI5 profile. So you've got lots of different profiles in here. So let's start by creating an NDI4 profile because all of my hardware hasn't jumped up to NDI5. I just wanna stay with NDI4 on this stuff. So I'm just gonna click my gear icon. And what I can do now is I can say, okay, great. I wanna choose port one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna call this NDI4 since that's what it is. I can give it a VLAN, so I'm just gonna make this VLAN4 since it's NDI4. I can give it a color, so I'm gonna come in here and give it a nice blue color. If I wanted to set up DHCP service on this, so if I wanted to completely isolate these and have these on their own DHCP IP range, I could do that. So I could come in here and turn all those things on. Lots of control within here, but I'm just gonna say apply. Now, when we go back and look, we'll notice it's ports one, two, three, and four are my NDI ports. So let's go in and let's also set up Dante ports. So I'm just gonna click on Dante. I'm gonna take five and six. I'm gonna give those a name, Dante. VLAN ID will be five. I'll make those red. And then I just click apply. And there you go. So now I've got NDI four ports. I've got Dante ports. So just really easy. And what that's doing is that's making all the changes that need to be made. QoS, uh, IGPM snooping, all the different settings that you would need to, to manage and make sure NDI is running optimally or Dante is running optimally are all there for you right away. A couple other things I like about this is if I click over here on power over ethernet, I can actually see how much of my power I'm using. This particular switch has over 125 watts of total power delivery. Currently with the two cameras I have on, I'm only using 20 watts, so I know I've got plenty more available to me. It's even showing me per device how much I'm using. So one camera is pulling 7.5, another one's pulling 12.1. So really the beauty of this is just the real simplicity for somebody that doesn't know a lot of networking, for somebody that doesn't know a lot of these things can quickly go in and do some very powerful things. So again, thanks, really excited about these switches. They're great switches, you know, and, and why not? It's a switch that the industry is behind. It's a switch that new tech is behind. It's a switch that bird dog is being used. It's a very powerful switch. Thank you.